Operation Pineapple Express started for one very, very simple reason, to honor a promise to a friend. I had more than 250 Afghan employees. I became deeply involved in trying to help. It's just such a bag there, and then you come back and get checked out. Our nation's leaders made a promise. With or without them, Americans will honor that promise for however long it takes, simply because it's the right thing to do. The entire country was in chaos. And I remember the day he called me, he said, Kayla, you're not going to believe this. There's a group called Pineapple, and they're trying to help get people out through the airport in Kabul. Words like loyalty, duty, honor, integrity, and personal courage are used as a framework to shape those who aspire to serve something greater than themselves. Never did I know that it was the last day of freedom. When I took office in 2001, the Taliban was brutally repressing the Afghan people. We were about 1,000 meters away when we had a big boom. The truth is, this did unfold more quickly than we had anticipated. Uh, we've seen an 81% increase in calls to the VA suicide hotline. I am the one who will get him out because that is what is right. He helped me and now it's it's our turn to help them. And it's what we promised. The past 10 months have been a roller coaster of emotions. One mother burst out crying when she received the food and firewood we sent. She said they hadn't eaten in four days. We have helped over 2,500 families with direct humanitarian aid. We went on to connect another 693 American citizens and green card holders to Department of State relocation teams. Today, we continue tracking over 7,500 at-risk allies. This is men, women, and children that would face direct reprisal from the Taliban. Please bring us to a safe place away from war and fear. I'm begging the United States government, please, please, please help all those left behind. The Taliban are still taking their revenge. Please, from the bottom of my heart, save me and my daughter. And I cannot describe the joy and the relief that I felt when I knew that they were safe. So how can you help? You can tell your friends, your family, you can write your senators and state representatives. You can also donate and learn more at operationrecovery.org. Thank you, God bless, and stay safe.